We make more, we folks tell more lies about the excuse for not being in church oh, sometimes. Okay. I believe we ought to be ready to start church, and we ought to be ready to get ready to get out of here. I'm trying to get healthy ready. Everybody but healthy. Healthy, you know, healthy. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We have a familiar passage of scripture we're going to talk to you about. Amen. In the third chapter of the book of St. John, most of all of us, amen, quoted it so much, amen, because we don't, amen, practice. <laughs> Well, that's right. Just about everybody in here, even the babies, amen, can quote this scripture. Because we don't practice it. Right. Well, you don't practice telling folks you really love them. Man, we, amen, practice more telling folks about their wrong than we do. Amen, like we don't have none. We don't make mistakes. Amen. Most of us, amen, have been out of the will of God more than we've been in with our tongue. You think you say everything right? Amen. Moses was 40 years in the wilderness, amen. His tongue got him. He been up on the mountain and he never shouted no more. His tongue. He's still looking sanctified to the folks. But the Lord said, you didn't sanctify the people before me. That's right. You didn't do it. His big mouth. Amen. What? <coughs> a lot of us would go to heaven we didn't have a tongue. <laughs> Amen. Woo! The only one cure for that. <laughs> now, sir, 10 days fast, now I guarantee it won't clap. <laughs> 10 days fast, it'll stay still. Right. You be God. Amen. You God that thing. Amen. After 10 days. Praise the name of the Lord. And I'll tell you something else, too. David said it. Amen. <laughs> My bones wax for fatness. You won't be so fat either. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> you won't stir it up. My knees, amen, buckle for me. Amen. Now David realized he had a problem. And most of us, amen, don't realize we got one. We think everybody else does. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But John here, amen, was saying something about Jesus. And I'm glad he did. I'm glad he did. Amen. We have a couple of verses here. We won't read in your hearing. And we're going to try to preach to you in a few minutes. It's going to take about five minutes to do it. It ain't how long the message is. It's how much you take home with you. David had, I mean, Samson had one little message that he was supposed to keep for himself. One little message. One little message for number one. And you know, it's pitiful, amen, how we go to church over and over, Brother Shields, and we don't never get our own message for ourselves. Mine. I want mine. Not yours. I want one for me. Woo! Did you ever to talk to yourself and say, look at him, boy, you got to do right? No, amen. We want our women folks to do right. <laughs> That's right. Amen. My Lord. Adam said, this woman you give me, and that's the reason why I'm in the shape of you. No, sir, his stubbornness is the reason why you wouldn't. Maybe he always too. Amen. Glory. But in the 16th verse, God so loved the world, gave his only begotten son, whosoever so believeth in him did not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into this world to condemn it, but to him that it might be saved. Amen. Look here, let me tell you one thing. Amen. The folks that in the church, run them through Jesus and they might be saved. Put them through him and they might be saved. Through him and they might be saved. They got to go through Jesus before they get there. Well, he didn't send his son to condemn the world, but through him it might be saved. Don't condemn this world until you really love it. Don't condemn this world until you love it. Everybody we talk to, we ought to put him down. That's right. He's the one that loved this world. If he didn't love us, we wouldn't be here. No, ma'am, and no, sir. And if you and I accomplish anything, we're going to accomplish it through him. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus went through something by the church. Driven for you and I, amen, just to be in here. Sometimes the day, man, we look around, amen, and what folks do, amen, has already been in. And then we want to accuse, amen, of somebody, amen, and not standing up to the, amen, the code of the Bible, amen, and obeying the scripture like they ought to be, amen. But let me tell you one thing. Man and woman and boy and girl, amen, can stop any place after, amen, and receive the Holy Ghost, amen. Preacher, ain't nothing you can do about it, amen. Amen, I see them, amen, stand behind the pulpit and preach a message, amen, and make your hair stand on your head and your heart flutter. Amen, walk out of church and never come back no more. And you can't say they didn't have nothing either. Let me tell you one thing, folks. This stuff, amen, we call it black or white. Well, if you ain't careful, it'll call you to stop anyway. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. Amen. Amen. It'll call you to stop. Right. Stop. Yes, oh, God. So this will call you to stop. Hallelujah. Paul said, I died daily that I might win Christ. I did it to myself because I wanted to win him. God, amen, loved this world and he got no return. He loved this world on the pressure. He went to the cross, amen, he went to the garden, amen, and that had 12, amen, and one of them that was already going to betray him. But he had to bring this stuff under subjection. Yeah. All right. Woo! Tell you one thing, church, if we don't ride and fight against our own selves, not somebody else, this stuff, he don't want to do it. Right. He don't want to be subject to the word of God. He just wants to party. I said want to party. Amen. But one thing our flesh likes to do, and that's middle doctrine, and eat. 
<laughs> Let me tell you one thing, amen. What makes it worse, amen, our heads today, amen, in our college, amen, is telling, amen, our teenagers, amen, to go live, amen, in the house with a boy, amen, to see how it is before you get married. That's against the word of God, amen. It's going on in our colleges. And then what few amen we have in church, and when they go out, amen, they meet up with them same folks that's doing a little bit of everything in the college, amen. It's you missing out on all the fun. Right. But y'all think we need to do a little crying, a little weeping? Oh, yes. All right. yes. All right. I thought about Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, my head was watering my eyes, I found them dead. Yeah. Tears I weep both day and night for the slaying of the daughters of my people. Right. Praise right. the name of the Lord. Ain't nothing in the world, no hate, no hurtful, amen. When you raise up, amen, on the pew. When it gets 16, amen, somebody, amen, has put it in their mind, amen, out of all you've done, you're missing out on them. All the ungodly fun that's going on, amen, shocking. Do you love this world? You know, if you did, you put in more prayer hours than you do. If you put in more prayer hours than you do. Right. The word of God only tells us, amen, the affection, fervor, prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. Not, amen, how long I preach. It's how long I try before God. I, how I put in a, a intercessory prayer, amen, for the Lord. For the week, in the church. You know, you can't only get us today to pray. I set up just about every prayer hour in the book. Yes, sir. Six o'clock in the morning, third hour of the day, nine o'clock, twelve hour, twelve amen, twelve o'clock, which is the sixth hour of the day. Three o'clock in the three o'clock in the evening, they don't need to talk about it, amen. That's cool egg time and it's the time to take a cook, be cool. Amen. We would have never amen fulfill amen. Peter going to prayer to six hour, that's twelve o'clock. No, sir, it's lunch time. Now, now three o'clock meeting, night time. No, sir, ain't got time. That's time to go shopping. There's no more saints, amen, go shopping at three o'clock meeting. The heat of the day. But they won't go pray. You know, maybe you go to Kmart, you can find all the saints crowded. Find them all at Kmart at three o'clock. Problem. <laughs> amen. What are your church problems? Your church problems today. Right. Amen. They had to be one shop church problem in the wilderness. God so loved the world. Amen. Man, <laughs> all of it is in your hand. We amen. Love the church more than you do your wife, man. Most of us don't. We say, I have a responsibility to that church. You have a great responsibility to that wife. Yes, sir, you do. Because the Lord told you to do it exactly like you do. He does the church. He never does. Woo! <laughs> Man, you ain't gonna run off to heaven. You gotta take your wife with it. The biggest mistake is, amen. It's a lot made, amen. He taking off up the mountain, amen. He should have got his wife, amen. So, honey, don't look back. We already failed our young. So we already failed our young. We went down there, amen, and he never, he never built now. Yes. He never built now. Now he was, who was the head? He was supposed to be the head, but he never built now. While he was down in south, now what? Oh, God. Praise the name of the Lord. And man, did he make a lot of complaints. Even if the Lord himself, amen, in the form of an angel trying to get him out of that place. Boy, I tell you what, if we ain't careful, hang on. You'll try to run your family like your daddy did. And you'll try to, amen, run your family just like your daddy did. And your daddy never fulfilled any of these. Most of these in this book. That's right. All right. All right. Man. We have an instinct, amen, to live like our dad. That's what you got to watch. That's what you got to watch. <laughs> <laughs> my number one, you know, amen. My daddy used to, amen, come around, come around my house, amen, and, and I lived so different, amen, after I got saved. And my daddy always liked to eat, and he would always, amen, watch, amen, he'd be able to eat three meals a day. <laughs> yeah, amen, he had five in, that's my mama, amen. At four o'clock in the morning, amen, the biscuits was on. At 12 o'clock, we were sitting down eating. And at six o'clock, we were sitting down eating again. That went on 365 days a year. Seven days a week. You think I didn't have a fight. And then, four o'clock time to cook breakfast. <laughs> she said, I ain't getting up. Thanks, <laughs> 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 y'all, too. <coughs> huh? Come on, men, folks. You think y'all, too? Sure. <laughs> huh? Well, turn to the third chapter of the book of Amen, Colossians, read verse 18. Now, I'll show you you did have to. Oh, turn there. Oh, Come on, brother. You, you, you fix this marriage. You turn there. <laughs> Preach it to him, brother. I said the third chapter of the book of Colossians, the verse 18. <laughs> read it. As it is fit. That didn't fit in the Lord. <laughs> Up this <laughs> a lot of things, amen, you command, amen, don't fit in the Lord, amen, and you think you're right. Sure, brother. Head up. Head up. Head up. We need to get saved. 
Hallelujah. We need to get saved. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to go through Jesus and get saved. I'm going to tell on the head and you're going to obey me. All of it don't fit. All of it don't fit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Hallelujah. Good job, no stop. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I got a, uh, my nephew right there, amen. I said, man, he, he, he's so swelled up and so bold. I said, man, what, what did she do? Amen. She don't obey me. I said, what? Uh, she just don't obey me. Do you obey the Lord? All right. All right. All right. Don't just demand something out of your wife that you're not doing yourself. Amen. God, amen, told you to be the head, and you ought to be the first one practicing, amen, praying and seeking God. Don't condemn this world if you don't love it. You and I even got a job. Somebody's depending on us. Somebody's depending on you. That's right. Hey, Amen. Like that two boys, they mean one day they said, Daddy, see, you just let Mama get by with everything. I said, I do. I said, you want me to change it? I said, now, nah, I can change it if you want me to. I said, you want me to knock across the room, maybe, and turn it upside down, upside the wall? I said, no, Dad, I don't think you should do that. <laughs> I said, well, just let me do it the way the Lord want it done. Then. All right. All right? All right. I said, let me do it the way the Lord want it done, then. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching you. And you know who's watching? Your children is watching. That's right. Your children is watching. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, I know that I ain't going to get a whole lot of folks to follow, amen, to, to believe like I was believing. Noah didn't either. 120 years, amen, he didn't get a whole lot of folks to believe. I don't know how in the world he kept, amen, his two sons in, his three sons. I don't know how he kept them in. That long, but some of, them, some of them falling out, getting out. But we don't see why any of them got out, amen. When the ark was finished, they were still in there, brother George. They must have believed the message. They must have believed the message. Praise God. Amen. God so loved the world. Hey, did you ever, amen, really study, amen? And, and you know what? When he was threatened, when he was threatened, he, what, he didn't threaten back, amen. He just took it. Praise the Lord. When he didn't vow, he revowed not again. He did it for this church that you and I, amen, is enjoying. That's right. They laid them stripes on his back for this church that you and I enjoy. Yeah, Praise yeah. God. Hallelujah. And I'll tell you what, I enjoyed it, church. Amen. amen. Praise God. I enjoy it. Hallelujah. Amen. Being in this church. Now I may be a so he and Peck, amen. Praise God. All right. He is doing the coin, but amen. I'm still a man. <laughs> man, I'm all men. Woo! Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> Glory! I said, I'm all men. Hallelujah. And Sister Martin know I am too. Amen. <laughs> Glory. Amen. But you know what the stronger the man is, the more you ought to take. The more you ought to take and the more you ought to understand. Don't make it so hard on your family, man. Just show them how to do it. Right. I'd much rather live a sermon than preach one. All it ain't right. like it's hard, amen. It's, amen. To live one, it is to preach it. All right. All right. Because folks look at you, amen, and say, man, where are you, where are you coming from? I had one, brother, one uh, 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 nephew, amen, say, but man, all you do is always picking on us men, folks. But you ought to live right. But you don't want to live right. All right. Amen. Now, some of you, amen, was really fortunate, amen, to have a sanctified daddy and a sanctified mama and all that. Amen. I wouldn't know. I saw like Amos, amen. I didn't know anything about this, amen. And that little woman over there, amen, and she, when amen, I met her, she said, she brought me to a sanctified church. And that's to the man, amen, about six, amen, six foot tall, amen, weighed about 230 pounds, amen. He was had a guitar, amen, and he was beating on that guitar, you know, said, he's my everything. He's my everything. Woo! My Lord, and he hit a verse, amen, that he's sunshine in the rain, light and darkness. Man, and that got over to my heart. I don't see a fella that could do all that. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I don't see a man can do all That's that. That's right. Oh. Tell him that I found out one thing. He's that more the side. Oh. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hey, amen. He six you up where you can walk with God, amen, and not. Hallelujah, I've seen 60 up, amen, where you can live right. Why you can look, amen, I'm cooking in the first 
Praising the name of the Lord. The Lord ain't gonna fight with none of us to live right. No, ma'am, and no, sir. Praise the name of the Lord. In the book of Acts, praise the name of the Lord. I moved it from it. What I want, amen, is when Peter went up on the housetop. And there, amen, he saw the going up. And when he declared all things unto them, he went. He sent them to Joppa, and on the morrow, as he went on their journey and drew nigh to the city, Peter went up upon the housetop to pray about the sixth hour. That was about 12 o'clock, amen. He went up there to pray. And he became very hungry. Yes. And would have eaten. Yes, sir. Sure he would have. But while they made ready, he fell into a trance. <laughs> and saw heaven open, and a certain vessel descending unto him, as it had been a great sheet knit at the four corners, and let down to the earth, wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air. Oh, that's all, that's the voice I want, amen. <laughs> Man, that was sum them up in there. Creeping things. <laughs> four-footed beasts. Uh, Woo! Yeah. Praise the name of Lord. That was some of us in there. Yeah. Wow. wow. Let me tell you one thing, preacher. You ain't gonna get everybody in there to line up in that church. You can forget that. Cause man, you got some wild beasts in there. All right. He's all man of amen kind is in there. Might be a skunk in there every time he spray. Oh. <laughs> Praise yeah. the name of Lord. Might be a skunk in there, man. Every once in a while he's he sprayed. Yeah. But he was in what he was in the he was in what Peter sees. And he was on his way, man. God was fixing him up, amen, for them Gentiles. And that's what we are today. We Gentiles, my Lord. We Gentiles. We Gentiles. What? My Lord. Let me tell you one thing, Chuck. We don't do a lot of forgiving. Well, none of us make it, Brother Shield. Because you got all kind of four footed bees and creeping caves to deal with. Hallelujah. Now, if you don't love this world, amen, don't knock it. Praise me, Lord. Some of your close relatives gonna get may be your worst enemy. Amen. Oh, man, the hardest folks to deal with the pastor, you can vote. Right. They don't want you to tell them nothing. <coughs> then, amen. If you ain't careful, you know what you'll quit doing? Shout. Amen. You'll be amen, come to church and y'all don't be looking like you. Man, I don't know why they did that. I do. I'm gonna tell you why they did it. They are creeping thing in church. <laughs> There's a four-footed beast in church. They was in the net. I said they was in there. Paul said, oh, slow of understanding. And some of you men so slow to understand to be a church on time, to give your tithes, to become a body of Christ. Now, what can you your own self to be about being the body of Christ? Praise the name of the Lord. But some of y'all to be teaching them and you're still amen, fixing the bottle, fixing the bottle. <laughs> And you take him in one of these spiritual ones, amen, to come back to the raw, amen, and say, you ought to run them out. Well, you run that off, to make you want to come in worse. And that's generally, amen, what happened. Man, they come in, amen, <laughs> hey, man, they start out from down here, man. You get them say, rook to rook to rook to rook to rook, you jump up in the jungle, hey, man, you see jump. And never find out, amen, the church need to be clean, the grass need to be mowed, the windows need to be washed. Amen. The pastor's car need to be washed. Never find that out. They will never find that out. That's right. The wife's house need to be clean. The pastor's house need to be clean. That's right. <laughs> yes, sir. I said the pastor's house needs to be clean. Amen. Yeah. Oh, they don't want the pastor getting ahead of him, brother. What do you mean getting ahead of him? They're already ahead of him. They They're already ahead of him. Praise the name of God. God got him. Amen. Getting the worst job. Trying, trying to get some of us saved. Yeah. yeah. Man, we we something else. Praise the name of the Lord. I said, we something else. Men right. folks. Men folks is something else. Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Man, you get the men folks saved, you wouldn't have no problem out the women folks. Hallelujah. Right. My daughter, amen, I see the fast and crazy. The kitten is almost collapsed. Man, praying for a 200 pound man to go to church. <laughs> now, man, it ever was a time, you know, I'm so glad, amen, I have to pray through, brother. Shield, amen, about twice a day. Well, I ordained the middle, amen. I didn't ask for this job. The Lord stopped me from janitoring, amen, and being a good saint, amen, and told me to lead his people. Amen. I don't tell him I show him. I don't tell him I show him. That's right. That's right. I run across some of the laziest, some of the no goodness men. Praise the Lord. I ever see the end of my life. I wonder, amen. So well, any man ought to be able to take care of wife and one child. <laughs> I can pick a pop bottle to do that, brother John. That's right. <laughs> 35 years ago, amen, we left, amen, from down Little Rock, Ar I mean, down Hampton, Arkansas, and went to Little Rock, amen. I walked the streets and cried, amen. I got a job for $20 a week. I paid rent out of it. I bought a car out of it. Right. Now, amen, we make $100 a week. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Excuse me. Amen. $100 a day, and we still can't do it. Still can't do it. 
Man, I don't understand. You're looking around here today, man, we got almost a whole house full of women. But who are the men folks, man, you prayed to last week? What are the men folks you prayed to last week for last? My 17 years of pastoring, now let me tell you one thing. I prayed to more men over and over and over and over. Yeah. Every revival we have, we got the same fellow now that somebody really come up with a, vi a vision, amen, of what should really should be done. Hey, he's speaking in tongues. Bring your sludge out, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Take him on the globe. <laughs> hey, he got the whole hell nothing. Hey, amen. This is him we done prayed through so many times. Hey, amen. Nobody got the confidence. Man, he talking in tongues. Bring the sludge hammer. <laughs> Easy made it. Ship it out. Call Cooley. <laughs> Praise the name of all. Do you know what backslide is the one? Amen. Run the revival. Read why it don't mean. Hey, amen. You got to pray the same men over and over and over and over. Amen. I made up my mind, amen, next time I have a revival, amen, they come, amen, uh, would y'all just stay home, we're going to try to, amen, pray somebody else too. <laughs> you get tired of praying the same folks too, over and over and over. <laughs> and as soon as it's over, you don't see them no more. But the hard part is, amen, you got to love them right on. That's the part that hurts. <laughs> you got to keep on loving them, Brother George. That's the part that hurts. Well, man, I'll tell you what. I don't know what this what it'll be, amen, 10 years from today. You know, a man make an excuse, amen, about his wife too fat to read why he quit. You think about that. <laughs> that big lying hypocrite. <laughs> man, you ought to bring up some other excuse to cue than that one. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they lose weight, amen, amen, I told my daughter, amen, I can, I, I can understand you losing weight for somebody like me. But I don't understand you trying to lose weight, amen, and get him back. Yeah. That's right. And you want to lead you up or something, right? Brother, really? let me tell you one thing. Amen. You better be sure you man in the Lord. A whole lot of folks don't man in the Lord. We marry men for our stinking flesh, not for the Lord. Come on. A whole lot of us don't marry for our, don't marry man in the Lord. We marry for our flesh. Right. And Paul says you're going to have trouble in the flesh. But I like the kind I have. Yeah. Woo! Praise the Lord. Yeah, amen. Man, I'm learning how to be a husband after 35 years. Hello. Man, I still open the car, though. Man, I don't share that dress tail up in that car. <laughs> <laughs> man, I go, amen. And I, when she's shopping, man, I sit there and watch amen. I said, try them all on, honey. I ain't even patient. I wasn't even patient when I was trying to get her. Man, I just sit there and green, amen, and said, like that, amen, possum was born. I said, I'm winning. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I sat there grinning and waited till she got ready. Because yeah. I didn't have nowhere else to go. Yeah. And that's where it is today. I ain't got nowhere else to go, amen. All right. I don't have nowhere else to go. Amen. Praise the name of the boys, amen, don't excite me no more. All right. No, sir, the boys don't excite me no more. <laughs> yeah. No, sir. Man, I'm trying my best to be a good husband. Amen. You know what? The first man failed. Praise the name of the Lord. But you know what? Amen. The brother Sheila B. Wood said it, made a statement about Job. He lost everything but a nagging wound. <laughs> but let me tell you one thing. Job was the only one nagging, amen, and the woman got tired of it. Right. He was the only one, amen, was making complaint, amen, about what God was putting him through. Right. The woman wasn't. Right. And she got tired of it and said, why don't you just curse God and die? Most of us, amen, you know what? Yeah, praise the name of the Lord. If you don't never, amen, uh, get the doubt you never know God, amen, can, can get, get, uh, he will bring you to it, amen. I may be making a, a million dollars a year, amen, but he will yeah. bring you, amen, if you stay with him, he'll bring you down to nothing. Because that's one of the hardest things he to teach us anyway, amen, how to live without nothing and depend on him. And that's the reason why a whole lot of us ain't going to make it, amen, because we don't want to live, amen, on the mercy of God. Because we don't want to live like that. Praise the name of the Lord. The reason why, amen, I can do so, amen, you know, because, amen, I learned how to live poor. All right. I learned how to live without all that. But the last blessing, amen, I sure would like to have the alligator sheep. <laughs> alligator sheep. You know what they call them? $700. $750. All right. So, brother, you shouldn't, you shouldn't want anything like that. You shouldn't want anything like that. You shouldn't want anything like that. You shouldn't like that. But I'm not with the wham and the suit of wham. Huh? But you know what I did? I just cut a step. Yeah. What? 
Oh, amen. You know, a lot of times my congregation be saying just like you. <laughs> just like you doing there. Now, that's right. That's right. <laughs>
that got them backslid men, you better let your wife talk to them. Yes, sir. Amen. Right. Yes. I said, you better let amen your wife talk to them because you cannot answer their questions. But she can. You know what I tell them, friends? They all they want to tell me about their problems. I said, now, if you haven't any husband trouble at all, which I know he is, because he ain't saved. I said, but you see, Sister Vaughn, she'll tell you how to keep him because she's keeping me. <laughs> That's the way to do it. A lot of folk come to church, amen, they ain't intend to go to heaven. They're looking at the preacher, they want to. At the church. And you ain't careful, amen. You say, Paul. Thing. She going through this and she going through the other. She sure is. She gonna go on through it without me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, watch them in church. Right. In church, because they ain't, a lot of them ain't doing nothing. Just <laughs> the one there. There's a lot of them in church ain't doing nothing to get the husband to come to church. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. They ain't doing nothing trying to get their husband to church. All they want to do is bring all their complaints to church and waste the pastor away, man. Trying to solve him, man. They're proper when they can get it straight out themselves. Right. Yeah. right. That's it. Come on. They can get it straight out themselves. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Yes. I appreciate the Lord, appreciate the family that I run with, the brethren I run with. Yeah. Amen. I appreciate all the brothers I run with. Amen. I wouldn't run with a man, amen. Can't be a man, Brother Joe. Right. I ain't got time to fool with you. Amen. Man, you're too weak to take care of your family. I ain't got time to fool with you. Oh, that's right. right. Amen. I don't. But I believe you ought to be a man. All right. That's right. One woman to live in one man, okay? Amen. Right. Amen. That's and don't add no more. <laughs> don't subtract. Just, just, just stay with that one. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. He's showing you worse than the one you're looking at. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If you dress up the one you got, amen. She look good to you too. That's right. Just dress up. Praise the name of the Lord. Just dress up. Love it. We got a job to do, amen, to love this world, amen. Amen. Get your family in, amen. Keep them in. That's right. Every man is responsible for your family. You're responsible. Now, if you come to Fresno, amen, and find something.